Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Migrant Mother, Napomo Valley, by Dorothea Lang. Open an art history textbook and you'll likely find the photo, Migrant Mother. That's because it's come to represent the Great Depression. In fact, this picture did that right from the start. Dorothea Lang took this picture in 1935. It planted a seed in America's collective unconscious right away. Lang was part of a government-funded program. It was called the Farm Security Administration. That group sent artists like Lang on a mission. With this move, the government showed surprising sympathy. They paid artists to depict devastation from the economic crisis. Lang visited pea picker migrants in Napomo Valley, California. Drought obliterated their pea crops. So many families starved. The American photographer took a lot of pictures, but migrant mother was the most memorable. Lang's portrait shows Florence Owens Thompson and her children. She wears the worry and disappointment from pea crop failures on her face. Thompson's kids hide their faces from the camera, but they cling to her. There's hunger in this woman's eyes. She also seems strong, though threatful. That's thanks to chiseled facial lines and a hesitant hand at her mouth. Florence Owens Thompson embodies a stark portrait of poverty and motherhood. The image of Florence Owens Thompson arouses several feelings. Her face reveals both strength and vulnerability. Worry registers through her brow and the finger at her lips. While resilience and edge show in those honed cheekbones. Viewers can also sense that Florence is a hard worker. That's because her shirt's rolled up to the elbow. It's a universal symbol of toil. She's haggard and looks exhausted, but there's a strong feeling that this woman's only just begun her work for the day. That's in her eyes and also thanks to the children beside Thompson. They clutch her close. This reminds viewers that these little ones depend on their mother in every way. She feeds, clothes, and shelters them, as well as giving them warmth and love. Parents are providers. Viewers can feel the weight of that primary purpose here. Her children also look away from us. They hide, shielding their faces from the camera lens. It's a classic symbol of shame. We're witness to a heartbreaking, intimate family moment. They're hungry and without a prospect of food in sight. The sun highlights their mother's commanding face while her kids cower in shadow. Lang brings us into the light for America to learn about the depression. But these children remain shielded by their mother's steady presence. She's got her eyes set on a better future. That determination comes through to ring a bell of hope for us amidst this family's crisis. The photo pushes and pulls at viewers with mixed emotions. In the years since Lang took this photo, many have told its story. The photograph itself speaks loudest and best, though. Dorothea Lang contradicted Florence's experience with her verbal take on the story. She claimed Thompson told her about selling the family's car tires to buy food. 
But Thompson later said that they never even spoke to each other. Florence also noted that she'd never sold their car tires. It's possible that Lang confused her with another migrant, or she may have embellished the narrative without realizing it. After all, migrant mother strikes a powerful chord as an image. Wanting an impactful story for it is understandable. It's also unnecessary. Thompson's predicament says plenty without amplification. A mere glance at her expression says it all. That's why this image became so iconic. Turns out the bald truth behind this story wields emotional strength too. Dorothea Lang sensed that Florence Owens Thompson would work as a meaningful subject. Thompson later said she hoped that letting Lang take her photo might help her somehow. It was this intuition behind the portrait that gave it a visceral force to transcend time. Most importantly, this photograph also helped Thompson. Highlighted in a San Francisco newspaper, the picture woke America to the migrant farmer plight. People started sending food and supplies to Napomo Valley. Florence and her fellow workers got the help they needed. That's the difference that great art can make. The masterpiece, Migrant Mother, achieved more than a mere photo ever could. It's also why Dorothea Lang didn't like the category documentary photograph. This artwork inspired social change to save lives. A documentary only records events. It may arouse more than that, but only if it's a masterpiece. Migrant Mother Napomo Valley FAQs. What happened to the migrant mother portrayed in Dorothea Lang's photo? The good news is that this mother of 10 died nearly 50 years after Lang's photograph in 1983. However, Florence Owens Thompson also lived to regret the picture that made her face famous. That wasn't because of the fame itself, though. It was due to the poverty brand that the portrait gave her. Thompson spoke of this, and her children also talked about it in interviews. They pointed out that their mother was a strong woman. In fact, when Lang took this photo, Florence was already an organizer and advocate for migrant worker rights. In fact, the picture led to the immediate relief for Thompson and other pea pickers but it also stamped Florence with a permanent label. After that photograph's release, she would always be a symbol for the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression. Nobody wants that kind of shadow cast upon their legacy. What is the story behind Migrant Mother? The subject of this iconic photo, Florence Owens Thompson, was only 32. She also had seven children at the time. It's not clear in the migrant mother photograph, but Florence was a Native American from Oklahoma. Dorothea Lang took this picture in 1935. Thompson worked as a pea picker. A brutal frost had eviscerated the crops, though. So this photo captured Thompson's anxiety about the loss of work and thus food for her family. Why is migrant mother important? This photo helped Americans to understand the impact of the Great Depression. Of course, the economic crisis affected people in different ways, but this poignant image served to bring everyone together and relate with Florence Thompson. We all have families. We've all felt hunger, worry, and shame. These feelings resonate through migrant mother, The image captures a mother's pain and worry. Still, we also see her strength and resilience in those sharp cheekbones and set mouth. Even as she suffers, the children huddled at her side mean this mother's determined to prevail. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K-Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady K-Flow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks.
visit ladykflow.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.